everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing what are you manifesting? So there is rain going on outside. So if you can hear it, I do apologize. I can't control the weather. I wish I could. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so let's get started with today's pick a card. Um, today we've got four piles as usual. We've got pile one, two, three, and four. And let's get started to see what you're manifesting. So starting off with group number one. Hello group number one, let's get started with your reading and let's see what are you manifesting. So starting off with the first card, so we have trust your intuition. Okay, that's the first card we have. We then have a spiritual partnership, that's amazing, I love that. We then have communication is key, new moon in Gemini. And then we also have the two of cups, beautiful, the tower. And we also have the Page of Swords. So this is beautiful. So for you guys, you're definitely manifesting a partnership. So if you are single, that is definitely a good sign for you. Um, for you guys, if you feel like there's somebody coming in, there definitely is someone coming in, especially with your trust or intuition. You just need to trust that things are gonna happen and things are gonna come in. And I feel like for you guys, you're really kind of starting to be at peace with yourself as well. Like these, this woman is wearing like a white dress and very flowy. So it feels like freedom. It feels like happiness. It feels like I feel very content right now. It feels like I really trust myself. and I really trust where I'm going. And for a lot of you guys, you could have long brown hair or you could have brown hair as well. I feel like for definitely for a lot of you, you could be being in a partnership with a Gemini, but it could also mean that communication is very, very prominent for you guys. It's very, very important. And with a spiritual partnership, it's really showing that you guys are gonna be in a partnership that's not like anyone that you've been with before. It's gonna be a partnership that feels really, really content for you and very, very spiritual and very, very loving, really, really nice. So we then have the Two of Cups, the Tower and the Page of Swords. The fact we have the Two of Cups and with the tower kind of reminds me that if you're letting go of an ex or you need to let go of an ex or any particular toxic people, now is the best time to do it because there's definitely something manifesting for you guys. Also, this is timeless, by the way, just thought I'd let you know. So we also have communication is key. This is making me feel like you guys are really gonna have an extremely communicative relationship. Someone is gonna to communicate to you on a really nice basis and make you feel really, really warm and very, very welcome. And they're gonna make you feel like you are the number one. And the Page of Swords is also about communication, new communication from someone brand new. I don't feel like this is somebody you already know. And obviously I do feel like this is only for you guys who are single, who are kind of feeling this. This could also mean though that you're possibly meeting somebody who you really feel like is almost like a partner, but not in a romantic way. So maybe like a soul sister or like a soul mate sort of thing a soul mate and soul mates can come in any form they don't have to come in romantic form they can come in friendship form as well so you could be manifesting a friend as well but for a lot of you i do feel like it's very important for you to trust your intuition in terms of what you want to have so if you feel like you want something and you know that you're going to have it or you think i don't really know just trust your intuition and know that you can manifest what you want and maybe it takes a little bit longer than what you want it to take but you will get there okay so especially with the spiritual partnership, the fact that we've got two cards that are very purple really kind of indicates it's a lot to do with your crown chakra and a lot to do with your manifesting skills in terms of the fact that you want to manifest something that's very, very spiritual. I definitely feel like for you guys, it's really important for you to kind of communicate to this person as well on a really kind of open basis, like really kind of talk to them in a way that you're really, you're being yourself and you're not kind of stopping yourself from you're not stopping yourself from being who you are, you know? Um, for a lot of you guys, it's really, really important for you to kind of stay calm because I do feel like it's gonna be a massive shift in your energy that's gonna cause this relationship to come in. And it's gonna be like a massive shift away from something that you've already had. I really feel like there's something new coming in, which is really, really amazing. So I also wanna pull from the Astro deck. Let me just grab it try not to catch my hair on fire <laughs> okay so let's see what else you have coming in what is group number one manifesting please what is group number one manifesting what is group number one manifesting sometimes it takes a while for the cards to come out guys so just bear with me on that oh yes we have mercury communication i love it when that card comes out it's so great because First of all, I love Mercury. I love it. I just, I'm, I'm a talker, okay? I love talking, as you can tell. I do this. <laughs> I do this, you know, I talk on camera. So I love anything to do with communication. Then we have Saturn, wisdom. So it's definitely gonna be somebody who's very wise, very older than their years, very um, mature, old soul, 
And what else you're manifesting is you're manifesting wisdom and you're manifesting um, wisdom in a sense that you can share it with others and you can really kind of come into comfortability with talking about how you really feel and talking about what you've learned as well. You know, you've learned a lot from your life and I feel like you've gone through a lot of different stages and you've really kind of are really cultivating that and that's what you're manifesting guys if it's not a relationship as i said i definitely feel like it's communication coming in from something that you've been waiting for okay could be a situation i'm hearing solution i'm hearing solution and place place no it's like i'm hearing there's something to do with like a like a peak place or i'm hearing partnership place and and solution so hopefully that's making sense yeah, I'm hearing partnership, place and solutions. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to get a private reading with me, all my information is down below and I'll speak to you very soon. Much love. Namaste. Bye. Hello, group number two. Let's get started with your reading. Let's see what you are manifesting right now. We have Make Music. That's beautiful. I love this deck. This is one of my favourite decks. This is the first one that I, that I bought. So every time I use it, I get a lot of intuitive messages. We also have inner child. This makes so much sense already. <laughs> this makes so much sense already. So let's see what else we have. Personal growth. We then have expect powerful change. Yas, bitch. Work it. Work it. Look at the bigger picture. Full moon in Sagittarius. And then from the tarot, we have the seven of pentacles, two of pentacles, six of pentacles, three of pentacles. Oh my God. <laughs> Wow, okay, so for a lot of you guys, um, money is gonna be a really big thing that you're gonna manifest. I can see that you guys have been working on your freaking coin. You have been working on your coin, you want your coin. Okay, so for a lot of you guys, what's important for you right now is to, to manifest this in and to in, kind of increase the manifestation. It's really, really important for you guys to make music. And when this is connected to the inner child, it's very much about connecting to the part of you that kind of wants to walk away from yourself and kind of wants to exit the premises and wants to kind of walk away, not be involved in the, the emotions that you're feeling. So I definitely feel like it's really important for you to kind of be really kind to yourself. And when it says make music, it basically means that, well, you could be making music, you could be a singer, you could be a songwriter, you could just be playing music or singing just as a hobby or something that you enjoy. But it's also, kind of connecting to that part of you that feels lost and comfort it with things that make you feel good so watch a stupid video on youtube or watch a silly video or watch something that makes you feel good or eat something that you haven't eaten for a while go out with some friends um talk to people online something that makes you feel good where you're kind of cold and you're really like looking after yourself and you're like yes i hear you i will look after you okay and that's kind of that thing and the thing, that's basically how I feel that you're going to cultivate the manifestation. And then once you've kind of cultivated it, you're definitely going to get personal growth. And through this personal growth, you're going to have massive, massive change. And what is going to happen is once this personal growth has been kind of cultivated and you're manifesting it, this powerful change is going to really kind of open you up. I'm seeing like two doors, like huge, gigantic, like wooden doors, with like metal kind of fix, fixings on it like those big kind of handles, those round handles that you can grab and like pull. I really do feel like for you guys, this is a massive change that's gonna open you up to more freedom and more expansion and just feeling really, really good about yourself. You know, just feeling really comfortable and just really just satisfied of where you're at, where you're at. And it's just ultimate freedom. I'm hearing solitude and then freedom. I'm hearing solitude and then there's a break and then there's freedom. So what I'm feeling for you guys, if nothing's really happening, there's definitely going to be like a tiny bit of time where you're in limbo and you're just kind of just about on the verge of moving into that new stage. So we definitely have a lot of change in your finances. The universe can see that you've been putting in a lot of effort. The universe can see that. And they're basically asking you is once you have the coin, what do you want to do with it? They're asking you, what would you spend it on? Um, what job would you have if you could have any job in the entire world? Um, and also it's going to make you feel very balanced. It's going to make you feel much more balanced, in control, safe, comfortable. This just feels very, very fun. I love this. This was really, really good. And we also have the, the three of pentacles. So I definitely feel like for a lot of you guys, you're going to be moving into a new job, a new career, or just something where you have people around you that make you feel good and are comfortable. And they're not people you have to be fake around. I'm hearing the word toxic. I feel like you're you're very you're very aware of how toxic people work now. I feel like in the past you were kind of learning how to do that. And through this personal growth, you're learning how to set boundaries, how to accept yourself for who you are. 
to not change yourself when you're perfect the way you are, you know? And also it's just understanding where your boundaries lie with other people and how to approach them in a way that's not basically taking your power away. And these people are gonna be very good for you. It's gonna feel really fun and it's gonna like fit really, really nicely, okay? I hope that makes sense. I'm seeing the world as well. So for a lot of you, you could be going across the world to meet somebody, you could be planning a trip, you could be, um, yeah, I'm seeing like work and world, like two, the, the work, work and world come together. So you could be working in the, like you could be working like around the world, you could be possibly like social media or networking where you're basically like connecting with people all around the world, that sort of thing. This is a very like expansive message and I really, really like this. This feels really, really comfortable and just like smooth. It feels like it feels harsh and edgy right now or basically you're in the zone where it feels harsh and edgy and if you feel like things are flowing already for you then you've basically passed that like you've passed the threshold and you're moving towards that personal growth and you're and you're all, or possibly you're using that personal growth to move forward into this place where you're not stuck anymore what i feel like for a lot of you guys is if you're in this zone right now you may be feeling like i've put in so much work i'm waiting for so long why is nothing happening and it's literally just, you are manifesting that. It's just taking the time. So I'm going to see what else is coming in using the Astro deck. Beautiful. That was quick. Beautiful. We have the Voyager Sagittarius. This is all about travel. This is literally what I just said is the world. It's like traveling. It's being independent. It's adventurous. It's feeling experimental. And yeah, just feeling really enthusiastic and like the world is your oyster sort of thing. I feel really cold. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm just moving my cardigan up. So we have empowerment and we have seeking. This is so perfect, guys. This is like literally everything that I just said. This is all about travel as well. And the fact we have Sagittarius, if you have Sagittarius in your chart, extra points to you because I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're the part of you that has Sagittarius in your chart is really gonna be kind of cultivated. So wherever you have Sagittarius in your chart is where it's going to kind of, come in okay is where it's like it's going to have expansion within that part of your Sagittarius so wherever that is in your chart or wherever that is you know in whatever planet it falls in so also whatever planet Sagittarius falls in on, in your actual birth chart then look at that as well I definitely feel like I give you extra messages so you definitely have much more empowerment to do with foreign travel adventure higher education spiritual quest aspiration risk taking you're going to continuously be like boom 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 doing everything that you want i just feel like it's going to be a little bit slow for now just because you're literally just cultivating this personal growth and the universe doesn't want you to move you forward until you've learned this and you may think vicky i've already learned it like hurry up it's like literally you're in the literal threshold if you're literally just holding on and you're like why is nothing changing why is nothing coming towards me why is nothing freaking happening it's because you're in that threshold but if you're already past that and you're like go i'm already traveling i'm already got my my job that i always wanted i've already got the things i want then boom you're on the right track you're on the right track and even if you haven't you're still on the right track you're just kind of in that zone right now it's just to, it's literally just timing guys so I really hope you enjoyed this video, guys. And if you liked it, don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up, subscribe down below. And if you'd like a private reading with me, all my information is down below in the description box. I also have all my, all my card decks that I've used for this reading. And I'll speak to you very soon, much love. Bye. Hello, grid number three. Let's get started with your reading. Let's see what you are manifesting. So the first card we have is Miracle Healing. That's beautiful. So a lot of kind of earthy energy coming in. I feel like there's a lot of grounding and a lot of emotional kind of Everything that's kind of being pressed into you right now is, is more emotional and more, yeah, more grounded, I feel. So we have nature, magic of nature. Perfect, literally what I just said. It's just coming more into your natural state. Patience. <laughs> wow. We then have step out your comfort zone. And then from the tarot, we have the ten of wands, ace of cups, five of wands, the fall. Right, you guys are dipping in and out for sure. You guys are like just want something, I just want something, it's okay. I'm gonna sit back, I have patience. I just want something, I just want something. It's okay, I have patience. This is so accurate for me. <laughs> this is literally a fixed signs nightmare <laughs> because this is just so accurate, okay. So basically where I feel like you are right now is you're in the healing zone, okay. If you guys haven't manifested this yet and you haven't manifested love or a new start as what you, what you class as a new start, you guys are literally in the healing section. You're in the healing section before you jump over the threshold to this new start of manifesting. 
So the best way to manifest this is to concentrate on nature and concentrate on just healing yourself. I know how boring that is. I know having patience is boring. Um, we have the number two as well. So you guys are definitely wanting a partnership or you're wanting connection. You're wanting something where you feel like you're in um, a group of people. I'm just getting this, like constantly just feeling like you're really in community sort of thing. Um, for a lot of you guys, it's definitely something that you need to step out your comfort zone for. This comfort zone could also be emotionally. You could feeling you could be feeling very, very emotionally uncomfortable right now. And you're having to just literally completely let go and just have, have patience. That's literally what it is. If there's something you want to do and you're having to step out your comfort zone, then definitely go and do that action and take that action. But what's going to be on the other side of this manifesting is the Ace of Cups. And that is just absolutely stunning. This is definitely a new start where you're going to feel emotionally fulfilled. You're going to feel really, really happy. You're going to feel like, yes, bitch, things are fucking moving for me. Yes, yes, sorry to swear. It's my Mercury Scorpio, guys. I like to swear, okay? <laughs> I get very passionate when it's very, very exciting. So we then have the five of wands. So what is going to happen is when you basically go into this new start, it's going to feel really open and expansive. Part of you is going to be like, this is too good to be true. I don't know how to feel about this. Oh my God, this is scary because it's new territory. Guys, it's going to be totally fine. You're going to do it. You're going to do this. You're going to be absolutely fine. And then we also have the full. So if you're basically feeling like things are just too much, just step, take a step back because this is a new start and you're going to feel a little bit scared possibly because this is a new start and you've had to let go of so much stuff that you have been holding on to for such a long time. Your old self, your old beliefs, the way you think about yourself, the way you think about your boundaries and your power, all of that is shifting and exchanging and releasing. And my legs are frigging tingling right now. So I feel like that's so accurate for a lot of you guys. So your comfort zone is really being tested right now. Um, so I feel like for a lot of you guys, it's so important to just concentrate on yourself and look into your self node as well and how it possibly might resonate for you at the moment and how it kind of, it might c connect with how you're feeling. Um, with this thought as well, I definitely feel like it's def I definitely feel like it's an emotional start and it's going to feel intense because it's so good. You're having to go through this exiting exiting the premises guys you're having to exit everything that you've known and that's totally fine because it may feel scary but you're going to get through it guys you're going to get through it and for a lot of you guys I'm, i feel like for a lot of you guys what i'm feeling is i feel like i'm a teacher i suddenly feel like i'm a teacher i'm talking to all these children who are very very scared and they're all all just kind of like oh my god what's going to happen what's going to happen and it's kind of like when the school alarm goes off when possibly there's like a fire drill or something and all the kids just freak out it's almost like that and i feel like i'm that sort of person trying to calm everyone down i'm not saying you guys are children but i feel like a lot of your inner inner child your inner child is really being triggered at the moment so what's really important for you is to just make sure you just chill relax it's okay that's what I'm feeling. I feel like the universe is really coming in here. All the spirit guides are really cultivating around you. Just, it's just so emotional. It makes me want to cry. Right, beautiful. I'm going to pour a couple more as well. This is absolutely perfect. This is exactly what I was feeling. The sun and Chiron healing. The connection between these two is so interesting because the sun is about yourself. It's about who you are. It's about how you approach, the, how you approach your life. It's about self-awareness. It's about... It can be about a father figure as well. And it's also about childishness. So I definitely feel like for you guys, you're really healing that childlike part of you. And you're just literally your part of you that is meant to come out and shine is literally just healing. That's all it, that, that's all it is, guys. So what else is happening for group number three? Second house, assets, material world, aesthetics, luxuries, talent. So you're definitely cultivating um, some more money. You're definitely going to be cultivating... Um, more things that you've wanted for such a long time. Oh, okay. What else we got? Definitely feel like I don't want all those cards. It's too many cards. Okay. What else for group number three, please? Let's see what else is coming through number three. A lot of you guys have been through so much shit. A lot of you guys have been through so much stuff. Wow, you're releasing it now, though. You're releasing it. You're releasing it with softness and you're releasing the pain as well. So be really kind to yourself and look up. And for a lot of you guys, look up emotional fitness. Because I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're going to be needing to do that. I need to release a lot of emotions, especially today. So it's really important for you guys to just acknowledge the feelings and release it and say, part of me, let's think of saying, um, I acknowledge part of me feeling whatever, like sad about, and they say what it's about, about not being able to move forward. And I choose to release these feelings right now. And you put your hand in your heart, both hands, I have a mic, so I can't do it, but you have hands on your heart and you breathe in. And then you look kindly at yourself like you would a puppy and you say, it's okay. 
and then boom, then the emotions start to move. We also have Pisces, which is beautiful. So a lot of spiritual energy coming in. We also have Taurus and Mars. So you will be taking action. You will have concrete action coming in. You will have things that you are going to be able to move forward towards. And it could involve a Taurus and a Pisces, but it's going to feel so good for you and you will get there. I promise you guys, you will get there. I love you. I'm sending you so much love and you're breaking out of your shell. We have a shell here. You're breaking out of your shell, guys, just here absolutely stunning guys so thank you so much for watching if you like this video don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up comment down below and all my private readings are down below bye hello group number four let's get started with your reading let's see what you are manifesting so starting off with the cards we have the self-reliance beautiful we have look inside yourself we have creativity number three which is lovely we then have it's time to release negativity for me in Scorpio. I feel like kind of weird whenever I get this. I think it's because I am a Scorpio, so I kind of have a, a bit of a weird relationship with this card. <laughs> I'm like, <"Ooh." laughs> it's like I feel like a lot of Scorpios don't like other Scorpios, but it depends. Obviously, it depends on the Scorpio. I think it's like it's such an intense energy. It's like oh my god. So we have the magician, which is gorgeous. We then have justice. <clears throat> excuse me, and we also have the Eight of Pentacles. Wow, you guys are definitely manifesting something gorgeous. A lot of this energy right now, I feel like it's so interesting because every single group, every time I pull the fairy deck first, this is literally how you're gonna manifest it, which is so lovely. I love the way it kind of pans out. So the way you're gonna need to manifest this is to basically be really self-reliant at the moment. People are not really gonna be that much of importance in terms of your own, um, compared to how you feel on the inside. So what they're basically telling me is to really concentrate on looking after yourself and look inside yourself is there anything that you need to change and the way to embrace this and bring this out so you can manifest is to create is to be creative creative is to be creative the best way to manifest this is to be creative and you're releasing a lot of negativity as well so that's also going to help you and creativity doesn't mean drawing or painting I mean it can if you want to it can mean photography it can mean going for a run it can mean doing some exercise some yoga just doing something that's outside of what you normally do, basically, and just really kind of opening up that vessel that needs to just kind of be broken open like an egg, you know, just, <laughs> you know. So we also have the Magician, Justice, and the Eight of Pentacles. So what's gonna happen is once you have released this and it's kind of gone through, and if you are feeling like you're already getting there, then that's perfect. You guys are gonna manifest a brand new start that is extremely stable, that feels really, really good for you, and it's going to be something that you've always wanted. And it's it's not just something frivolous and small and just nothingness. This is going to be a concrete option. Like a concrete option, a concrete new start that you've wanted for such a long time. Okay. We also have the Eight of Pentacles. And this is you working really hard in your coin. And the universe can see that you're working really hard. The universe can see that you are cultivating, you are getting there. It's literally just... To, I feel like you're going to find something that you want to work on. I feel like you're going to find something that, yes, I actually want to put the effort into that. Whereas before you thought, I don't really want to put the effort in. I feel like for this time you're really going to be wanting to put the effort in. Um, because it's going to be something that you really, really enjoy and you really like. Amazing. So this could literally be anything. Ask yourself, what is it that you want? And then you say that thing and then that's what, you, that's what you're going to get. As long as it's concrete and it's something that's going to last a long time. Say if it's career, a partnership um your own mental health whether it's your own health i do definitely feel like it's something that's concrete and something you've wanted for a long time it's like i'm hearing like a massive opportunity i'm getting this expansion from my heart so it could be to do with relationships it can just be to do with just complete expansion i'm feeling i'm feeling complete expansion from <clears throat> my heart area and i keep coughing so it could be to do with your heart and your throat and really expressing who you are and going towards something that you're really, really passionate about. So we're gonna see what else we have here with group number four, with the astro deck. What is group number four? What else is group number four manifesting, please? Thank you very much. Okay, I wanna take these two. Right, we have seventh house relating and 10th house reputation. Perfect, so some of you guys are manifesting a partnership, some of you guys are manifesting a career, and it could be both. So I feel like for a lot of you guys, you are going to get recognition in your career. You're going to be getting what you really want in your purpose. This group is definitely about relationships and career, 100%. If you are single and you want a relationship, you're going to get it. 
is literally just working through this negativity. And I know sometimes it takes ages and it's like, oh my God, another rebirth, another change, another, like, it's just, I know, I know. <laughs> I know, it's annoying. <laughs> but you will get there, guys. And, and as I say, the 10th house is to do with career and the 7th house is to do with relationships. So that's basically what you're going to be manifesting and it's going to be something that's extremely stable. I knew as soon as I saw the justice with the magician, it's like anything is possible and anything that's concrete is going to last a long time. That is what you're going to manifest. Nothing that's that's doesn't feel, nothing that's temporary. This is going to be a solid something that's going to be there for a long time. So we have Aquarius, the innovator. So you could be an Aquarius, um, but it could be something you're innovating in terms of like a new start. It could be a new company that you want to make. It could be... A spiritual practice that you want to start something like that it's going to be individual as well so it feels like you guys are going to feel like an individual again you're not going to feel like okay life is weighing me down you're going to feel like the complete opposite underneath that we have jupiter expansion exactly i say expansion of the heart expansion of your own life and once you your heart starts to expand more you're going to feel like your heart is expanding as well and once your heart expands more it's just going to feel more open and Everything that you've wanted is coming to this point as well. So we have Sagittarius, the Voyager. I think we had this in group one as well. So for a lot of you guys, it could be to do with travel. You could want to travel and it could also be to do with your Sagittarius and your chart. Um, but it can also be to do with the fact that you feel so like, un, it says unbridled and I'm pretty sure that's the word that I'm thinking of. Yeah, they're saying yes. So you're feeling like you, you're free. And when I hear unbridled, when I, when I just connected to my guys, my nose started itching. They always like to scratch my nose. It's so annoying. Stop. can you stop it please thank you <laughs> it's like a cobweb it's being like attached to my nose it's really irritating so i like the fact that i know they're there but it's also annoying so with this unbridled it also feels like something to do with horses and horses in one of my uh, animal spirit decks is all about freedom so i feel like for a lot of you guys you're going to feel so much more free and you're going to take risks it's, it's going to be amazing you're going to feel so much more independent and funnily enough we have independence here and we also have self-reliance. And I feel like both of those are very different energies. I feel like self-reliance is almost like I need to rely on myself now. Um, but independent is more like, I'm independent. I'm happy with where I am. I feel like this self, self-reliance self is more like, I kind of have to do this for myself. But independence is more like, I've got a choice. I want to do this for myself now. So that is your reading, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. I love doing this reading for you guys. I really, really enjoyed it. I'd say thank you again for 10,000 subscribers. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for all your support. And I'll speak to you very soon. If you'd like a private reading, all my information is down below. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll speak to you very soon. Much love. Bye.